Not over till it's over. What? Right. Ooh, right, trying to kick flip in the Sorrells. Oh. That took me way too many tries. Welcome to my hangar, guys. Uh, and I wanted to introduce you to Draco the Destroyer. Yeah, it's not much now, but uh, this is the jig to my new bush plane that I'm building from scratch. Um, Draco the Destroyer is more just a fun thing. Trent's got the cub killer and I was like, well, I gotta up that. I can't do like Av the ass whooper. So Draco the Destroyer is. Um, no, one can dream, right? I would love to have this bush plane be able to compete with Trent Palmer and Draco and Steve Henry and all the other badass bush pilots. But more importantly, I just hope I have a really great bush travel plane. Um, that's kind of the whole concept behind this plane that I'm building. It's going to be, um, have a large baggage area. That's kind of a big thing why I'm building it. Um, because I do have the Kit Fox and the Kit Fox is a, a great plane, except it's got one issue and it's got a really small baggage area. Um, it's okay for those two night camp trips solo, but if you put another person in there or you want to travel for like a week or not, it gets pretty tight. Um, and that's kind of the concept behind this. I'd love to be able to travel for um, weeks. I'll put two mountain bikes in the back and uh, be able to sleep in it also. So that is what I'm building. I did modify my Kit Fox and I put a baggage area in the back. Actually, let's show you that right now. Almost died. This is the baggage area that I modified. So I just cut a square, put a hinge, piano hinge up there, and this freaking makes this Kit Fox so much nicer for traveling, especially when we put two people in there. Whew, way better. What else do you want to know about this plane? It is a scratch bill. It's my own design, but I'm doing a little bit of R&D. Rob and develop. I am taking what I really like about other bush planes, like the Kit Fox, like the Capella. Capella is not really a bush plane, but it kind of is. Um, but I'm taking what I like about all these other planes and I'm kind of integrating it into my design. Um, and hopefully it is sweet and it actually does pretty awesome. It might not, it might cruise around like 80 miles an hour and stall at 60 and that would be that would be a terrible bush plane. So hopefully it stalls around 35 and cruises above 100. I would love to get 130, but uh, I think that's kind of what everyone's trying to do. And like the X-Cub, it, it does it, so that's cool. Um, you are building your own bush plane. Why? You have three, the Capella, the Kit Fox, and the Glass Air. Um, all my three planes put together is like half the cost of a carbon cub. So three planes, one carbon cub. Hi, my name's Jonas Marcinko, and I'm a flyaholic. Uh, no, <laughs> I am a flyaholic. I love flying. I love everything to do with uh, flying. Um, I've always had this dream to build my own plane. Um, I've actually been working on this for two years. Um, I was building this jig two years ago, and I had an incident with the Capella, and I was stranded out in the Nevada desert. Well, pretty crash landed in the middle of the... Nevada desert. The plane's way like out there. So that is a story completely on its own. Um, I'll reenact that for an episode down the line. But uh, yeah, I am now back on the project. I'm almost done with the jig, all tacked up, and I've actually put in the launcher on in right now. That's kind of why I'm doing this video. So I'm doing build videos and this is going to be the very first one one video a month showing the progress of this airplane i'm hoping to have this done in a year uh eight months would be awesome if i can really bust my ass and do this um but you never know so uh that's the plan i'm still going to be doing my regular videos with the kit fox so follow on those videos too i'm not giving up on those um this is just going to be another series of my channel let's, let's show you guys the design um I'll show you the kind of first design. It's not much. Um, this is the very first AutoCAD design. Um, pretty crap, but shows you, gives you an idea of what it is. I'm not showing the actual design because I'm a little secretive. You guys will be able to see an airplane come from this jig. The engine that I'm using is the Apex 
from Yamaha on the snowmobile. It is right here. This is the Yamaha Apex, um, 2007. This is the same engine that Steve Henry uses in his Highlander. So this is what is actually gonna be going on that um, when the fuselage is done. But I had an incident and I, I busted up the A-arm, so I'm actually gonna get it fixed. I got the sled fixed. So I'm gonna go use it before I take the engine out and put it in my aircraft. So let's see if we can climb this hill. Yeah, it's kind of weedy. I'm having too much fun out here. This Apex has got a ton of power. Super heavy though, but it's got a lot of power. I'm gonna throw this camera in the street and try to get some shots. Bush cam. too close I almost clobbered this camera let's spin around at the shop and I'll show you more of the jig all right guys back in the hangar super fun riding that apex 150 horse fuel injected uh, got a ton of power really heavy though so it's probably not the best riding sled but I was having fun on it. I think it's gonna be an awesome engine for the front of this airplane. Um, now you do have to put a gearbox on this and Teal Jenkins has uh, made the Skytrax gearbox housing. It looks awesome. So really excited to put that on the front of the engine um, and mount a prop to it. So let me show you guys this jig so you kind of understand what you're looking at, what I did here. So what we got here, this is the firewall. That is where the engine will go right here and then go up to here this is windshield front spar attach right there rear spar attach right here this is the bottom of the fuselage longeron and then it goes up to the vertical stabilizer this is the rear uh, spot of the vertical stabilizer and then the rudder will go right here doorway right here baggage area right there um, i have Never built a fuselage jig before. I've kind of looked online and got the best ideas I could. The hardest part about this is making this thing square. I've leveled and measured, I don't know how many times. I'm a kind of a perfectionist and it's kind of screwed me on my time, but you want this thing to be right. So um, next video, you guys will see me pull a fuselage out of this jig. Hopefully it'll be like two months, months, two months. I'm going on a trip to Portugal uh, with Sylvia. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, I'll post a link, but I did a video with her flying the river. Um, yeah, we've been keeping in touch. She went back to Lithuania. We're gonna meet up in Portugal and just uh, spend 10 days there having fun. Uh, going to Nazara, it's like the largest waves in the world. It'd be awesome if I got in there and surf, but I don't know, I'm pretty crazy, I might do it. Um, Anyways, I might do a vlog on that whole thing. I don't know, we'll see. I'll probably film and then I won't do it. I'll leave you guys with uh, some time lapses of me building this jig and then also did a makeover on my workbench because it was hideous before. So I'll, do a, I'll show you the little before and after of that. Anyways, hope you guys liked the, the first build video of Draco the Destroyer or maybe Wilgo the Whipper. Ty Furkin came up with those names, so. I think they're pretty awesome. You hit the like, the subscribe, the ding the bell, comment, share, all this stuff are that makes us YouTubers like happy. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.
this is what you don't want to do with an apex is get it stuck by yourself especially by yourself luckily i got a shovel i'm gonna be here for a while